Beardus Essay, this is High Priestess Ishodara saying welcome viewer, welcome to your predictions for the month of July 2024. As you already know, we have four weeks uh, in each month and uh, this video is going to cover 1st of July to 7th of July. Uh, we also have the new moon which is on the 5th of July. First, let me tell you what the messages are for this month. Um, and that is going to be given to you through the central theme in the first week. Remember, this is the video from 1st to 7th of July. So the central theme is described with the help of three cards. I've pulled them out for you. You've pulled out the Akashic Library, the Trishul or the Trident that symbolizes power and the North Node step out of your comfort zone. Um, Please remember, you uh, you will have to understand that when we talk about the Akashic Library, we are talking about you gaining some kind of superior knowledge, something that will make you a better version uh, today than what you were yesterday. This knowledge can be of any kind. It's usually not professional, it's more spiritual. So that is what you're going to try and attain uh, a little more on the uh, semi-philosophy sort of side. Um, there will be discomfort because whenever you gain knowledge there is some kind of discomfort even if it means burning the midnight uh, lamp uh, the midnight oil and uh, most importantly only when you're uncomfortable will you be able to progress and move forward okay um well this is a similar card you need to step out of your comfort zone the moment you're comfortable you're not uh, you're not progressive because when you're uncomfortable you want to work towards making yourself comfortable. That's the literal meaning of uh, being better and a brighter version of yourself in life. Okay, so that is something that you should prepare yourself for. You are going to be facing certain issues and challenges. Don't shy away from it. Remember, this is your uh, growth curve. This is what you require to move forward. Okay, so don't be stagnant. Don't be in one place. Um, you need to break free from illusion and ego. That's what the Trishula, the Trident, uh, which symbolizes power says. You must have the power to break free from something that is, um, and you will be aware of it, that this is just temporary. This thing that is happening to you is not something permanent. And don't bring ego where you know that it's not required. A healthy amount of ego is always good but when we are referring to ego we are referring to what should not be there because it will uh, it will be a ball and chain around your ankle and don't want that you need to gain knowledge you need to gain wisdom and you need to uh, grow spiritually remind yourself of that and please take out time for it don't consider it to be just one of those, those things that you can push them in the you know on the uh, sweep them under the carpet if these and all three three cards are similar so first to 7th of july i'm expecting to hear uh, that you are making certain changes in your life and uh, making some good good changes in terms of your spirituality so we have four decks that we've taken out the first one that i'm going to read out right now is the general deck then you have the health you have the wealth and of course you have the relationships deck let's do the general we've pulled out four tarot cards for you you've pulled out the two of swords the ace of wands the black shuck or the death card and the lovers card two out of four you have two major arcanas you do have the blessings of the angels in the first week itself let me tell you what two of swords means and uh, remember this is the general um reading for the first week of july you are at a crossroad you need to make a decision you are inclined towards one and yet you are not being able to come to a, a solid decision since you're weighing the pros and cons so much that you're confusing yourself stop playing the devil's advocate look at what works for you if this card is showing up it means you're running out of time so you need to make a decision now do you want to go ahead with the path that you've chosen or not and then stick to your guns ace of wands this card means that you are, uh, um, well, the this challenge that you're facing at your in your life at the moment has its solution in magic. Uh, please go ahead and uh, find a solution, find a remedy. You're going to come to uh, come to 
uh, us and we will be we can figure out how to uh, help you out the best having said that if there is any other occultist or some other practitioner of magic that you plan to go to ensure that it is the light form of magic and not the dark side of magic um, because the repercussions are into three the remedy of what you are facing at the moment lies in magic that's the core essence of this card the lover's card no we did the black shark right so this is the death card this tells me that you could be a scorpio or dealing with one this card also means that in the first week of july in general um there is going to be a change in your belief system something that was that you were following earlier will not be uh will not be your path anymore at least you will try and figure out a way to find another way and listen if you want to add on something to your belief system even that will be considered to be a change it could be improved or improvised uh, version of what you have been following so that is also doable but a change is definitely in the cards the lovers card is the last card in the general section here we are talking about you being a gemini or dealing with one this card also means that uh, you are not giving enough attention to yourself i don't mean going to a salon or a gym etc that is just the physical aspect remember you also have the mind and the spirit along with the body so look at your level of confidence look at whether you uh, like how you look in the mirror uh, look at uh, the kind of uh, words you're using um, when you speak to yourself um, look at uh, how how your thoughts what's the quality of your thoughts and how you feel and you'll know what i'm talking about all right so pay attention to it all right let's move on to the section that speaks about health so your four cards of health for the first week you've pulled out the five of swords the nine of wands the eight of visions five of wands right so i am looking at a certain amount of neglect right so let's take this one so the five of swords speaks about you are um, well this is essentially a card of hollow victory and humiliation also here you are giving too much of attention to what other people think and feel and perceive uh, of you or perceive you as and that is what is weighing down on you you are giving too much of importance of trying to please someone else or you know be there for someone else and that might take a toll on your health you are giving too much of yourself is what i'm trying to say here nine of wands um so this is an interesting card in terms of health here we are speaking about you working uh working on overdrive trying to make a point and holding your ground and taking a stand and uh, because you end up giving so much of explanations and spending so much of your time and energy just by mere, merely standing that itself can also exhaust you so please watch out for this one okay if you want to take a stand there is always a way to do it but there's no point in overdoing it uh there is a level of sadness a, le a level of disappointment a level of disinterest that you are facing in a particular situation in your life and that could also be a cause of your health getting affected that is what eight of visions is here to say and the last card five of wands so um you will be a little irritated because not everyone will be on the same page um as you in terms of some decision that you have taken and that could also be something that triggers your stress level so we are looking at worry tension anxiety fear stress a lot of stuff is happening in the first week of july what would i suggest take a couple of deep breaths go for a walk listen to some music uh see if you can de-stress some people go to the gym some people uh, go for long walks some people do some deep breathing meditation i would definitely recommend but there seems to be a lot of unrest in your mind make sure that it doesn't affect you to the point that you malfunction all right first week of july for health uh, health is done we're now on wealth so you've pulled out the fool card the wheel of the year or the wheel of fortune card wow the forest lord and the four of coins or the four of pentacles so um so in the wealth section you are wondering whether you should or shouldn't take this financial step it could be by in selling it could be a job promotion job posting a change in job or even an industry uh, it could be a business venture a planning to start a business diversifying a business 
um, selling uh, and buying of stocks and bonds, shares, property, uh, vehicle, anything to do with the financial aspect of your life, you're being asked to go ahead and take the leap because the universe does have your back and you seem to be making the right move, right? The Wheel of the Year, the Wheel of Fortune card, this is a card of the planet Brihaspati, the planet Jupiter. Here we are talking about finance and luck, both being your uh, good friends. So in the first week of July, if you're looking at investments or uh, buying and selling something, taking a, a job offer, considering it, uh, going for a business venture, then this is the this is the week for you. Okay, So go ahead and do it. Luck and finance are yours for the taking. The forest lord tells me that you could be an Aries or dealing with one. This is similar to the emperor card in the right of it deck. Um, this card also means that you're looking at securing the uh, securing the future of your uh, of the next generation. Could be your uh, siblings, younger siblings, offsprings, nieces, nephews, grandchildren, etc. But you are definitely looking at increasing your savings or at least finding ways to do so. This card also means that you are taking decisions in your life. With a lot of masculine energy involved a lot of uh, somebody who is an elder either in your family or sort of a mentor who's action oriented is also playing a very important role in the decisions in your life especially when it comes to the finances in your life all right four of coins four of pentacles this tells me that property is going to be something that you're going to be giving a a, a very keen eye on uh, and you are going to be paying a lot of focus and uh, giving attention to uh, frugality being a little tight-fisted in terms of money just make sure it done don't come out as a miser but it looks looks like you are going to think before you spend since you are interested in saving and um, it's also pro uh, possible that you might be looking at buying selling renovating refurbishing refurnishing your uh, or renting out or leasing out your property all right the last week uh, the sorry the first week uh, last deck of cards is the card of relationships so let's see what we've pulled out for you lovely you've pulled out the six of wands the ace of coins or the ace of pentacles the five of boons or the five of pentacles and the judgment card right so here in relationships it looks like there is one relationship in your life which is absolutely perfect you seem to be doing pretty pretty well in that and uh, there is no cause for you to feel uh, underconfident or insecure in it so good for you on that score the Ace of Pentacles tells me that uh, there will be an offer that will be uh, that will improve on your relationship and that is going to be something that will come to you uh, from within your circle, your friend circle, acquaintance circle, professional circle, personal circle, but it will be coming towards you and that is going to uh, strengthen your bond with that particular person purely in terms of trust. So that's another thing that will be happening in the first week of July. Uh, someone may ask you, well, it looks like either you owe someone something uh, translated into money um, or either you've taken money from someone and you're not returning it or somebody has taken money from you and they're not returning it and that stuck money is causing an issue in your relationship with that person and uh, the last card is the card of judgment this is also a karmic card so it looks like the condition that you are in right now um, in terms of a relationship because if there is a very trying relationship a very difficult relationship in your life and you've been wondering why is it that you are being uh, put through it well that is because it's probably karmic so you need to have your karmic baggage released interesting isn't it all right that's the end of this video uh, remember this was the first week of july from the first of the seventh to the seventh of july i will see you in the next couple of videos until then love light and knowledge to you all be at his essay and om sarve bhavantu sukhina